Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Matt's Cigars and Whiskies. In this episode, I've been to Aldi. They're stocking a new whiskey in there. You know how much I love my budget supermarket whiskies, so I thought I'd bring you a review for it. I was given a heads up for this from one of my subscribers who actually works in the Audi distribution centre. So I'd like to say thank you very much, Christian, for the heads up. I went and found it. And here it is. <clears throat> it is the Glen Turner single malt, double cask, port finish. Highland Heritage double cask. Now, Glen Turner is actually, for once, with the Audi whiskies they're producing, a proper distillery. It was founded in 1981 by French firm company La Martiniquaise. They also have the uh, Star Law Distillery and they also do Glen Murray as well. But this is produced by them and it has been on the market a little while. But Audi have obviously managed to get a load and they're stocking it. Now it's 40%. As you're aware, 40%, I'd definitely say, has colour been added to this, probably uh, chill filtered. But for £17.49, I'm not going to hold that against them. It's a cheap single malt. The bottle, as you can see, is aesthetically pleasing. It is nice, nice bottle. Looks like a, a standard single malt, but you look at the top, it's got Glen Turner written across there. And on the back, it's got the Scottish Thistle, which I think is a very nice touch indeed. Now, it's matured in oak, finished in port casks. It's obviously port cask finished. Glen Turner Company Limited, Scotland, distilled and matured in the Highlands. Now, I, I, I went in, I saw this. This appears to me to be, what well, Audi at the minute, it's the only single malt Audi now appear to be selling. If you go on their website, they seem to have uh, wiped off a lot of the Glen Marnocks. So maybe they're going to bring a whole new range out soon. But me being me, I saw this and I thought to myself, I've got to get it in a review and get it out there because I know how much you lot love Aldi's and Lidl's, the budget whiskies. You can see that by checking back at my previous Aldi videos. They always do very, very well. But what we'll do is we'll take this on the nose. We'll see what it's like. And then after that, we'll take it on the palate. And I'll give you my thoughts on this Glen Turner Heritage Double Cask Port Finish. Right. Before I go anywhere with this, just a quick one as per usual. If you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. Give the video a like. It's always appreciated. It helps the channel grow. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much for watching another video. It's great to have you back and your support is appreciated. But let's take this on the nose. What I will say with this, it's only been open a little while. It's had some time to breathe. I've poured the drams I've had. I've left them in the glass a little while to breathe just to see what they turn out like. So let's see what this double cast Glen Turner port finish is like on the nose. Straight away from that, lots of vanilla in there. Lots and lots of vanilla. There's a definite nutmeggy spice in there, like more of a sweet spice on the nose. You can definitely pick that out. Slightly biscuity. There's a definite biscuity, cereally type smell coming through in there. Another thing I get from this is Haribo Star Mix. Now, when I first smelt it, that's the first thing that popped into my mind. It's only at the back of this, but there was a smell that I was trying to pick out. And I sat there for ages smelling it, shutting my eyes, let it go through. And then it came to me, when you open up a pack of Haribo, the Star Mix, when you have the soft fruit, the soft fruity but marshmallowy type sweets like the fried eggs, etc. That is also what I get from this. I also get caramel and there's a pinch of cherries coming through there as well. You know, like a very rich fruity type, uh, type spell, the uh, smell, the cherries, Definitely, definitely come through. Smells very nice. It really does. It really does. The caramel, the vanilla. It's definitely the biscuit you come through as well. It smells very cereally, but it does smell nice. It doesn't smell too intense. It doesn't smell like it's going to be super blow your head off. It's 
It's obviously not super complex in the smell. Those flavors, you know, you're not sitting for ages trying to pick them out. The only one that took me a while was the one that's Haribo Star Mix. Now, to be honest with you, it could be something different, but that is what I get from it. It smells good. It really does, you know. It smells for a Highland whiskey. I mean, if you look at that, it's no age statement as well. It's a nass, but there is some viscosity in there. Now, it does smell slightly prickly, but I don't know how old the uh, how old the spirit is in this. But I would say it's not super young, but it, I'd say it is on verging on the young side by the smell of that. But there is some viscosity to it. There is some oiliness. Those legs do gloop down slowly, not super slow, but they don't just disappear. They do run down. Like I say, the colour of it, if you look at that, it's golden. It's It looks fairly clean, but I would definitely say there's been some colouration added. But for £17.49, you've got to expect that. You really have. What we'll do is we'll take this in the palette and we'll see what we get from this. So I'll see you in a second. Right, let's see what we get from this Glen Turner port cast finish on the palette. Now, like I said, in the nose, you had the cereal type smell, you had nutmeg, spice, toffee, caramel. Let's see if that just comes through in the palette. Lot of spice, a lot of spice in there. Not pepper spice. I would say that's virgin more onto chili spice. A lot of vanilla, vanilla coating the tongue. Highland toffee as well. Definite Highland toffee coming through. <clears throat> but I would go as far as to say a pinch of maritime influence in there. Maybe a slight sea spray across the tongue. Tiny bit of saltiness. <clears throat> Dairy milk chocolate as well. Definite chocolate note in there. That's lovely. That really is. It's the chili spice, I'm not going to lie to you, that makes this what it is. That spice, it coats the tip of your tongue, the side of your tongue. And you can feel it warming down the throat. But after that, in the flavours, you have vanilla, like I say, chocolate, Highland toffee. But the finish, yet again, it's not very long. Not very long at all. The finish is definite chilli spice, but the cereal comes through in the finish along with the fruit. And I would say that finish, there's a definite hint of fig rolls in there. You know the biscuits you get the uh, with the fig roll flavour inside them? And I'd say that moves off into oakiness. There's an oak roll and roll away through in that from start to finish in the flavour as well. That's lovely. It goes together very, very well indeed. Super biscuity at the end. It really is. Def like I say, it's fig rolls. That obviously comes, I would say, from the port finish. But that vanilla sits there all the time as well. But it's the chilli spice. Prickles across the tongue. You know, really warm and really prickly. It's lovely. It goes together really well. It really does. That's another one out of your stocking, which, yet again, for £17.49, you cannot complain about that in the slightest. You really can't. It goes together extremely well. I mean, I like spice myself. I do like chilies and things like that. So this is right down my street. But it's that Highland toffee that comes through along with the vanilla and the fig roll finish as well. It's good. It's good. There's an, oak, there's an oakiness that rolls through it from start to finish. Marks out of 10 for this. Straight seven. Straight seven. It's above average. It's only £17.49. Don't expect miracles, but if you were to buy this for £17.49, I would say you'd be very, very impressed indeed. Just give it a little bit of time to breathe when you first pour it, and it'll be one that you enjoy. It's an easy sipper. It's an everyday sipper. It's not bad at all. Yet again, Audi, you've uh, used it. You're stocking a very good product there. So anyway, you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next review. Thank <laughs> you.